Howdy, y'all. Hey, uh, I was going through some older videos, responding to some emails, comments, stuff like that. And I was reminded of the second part of my uh, Patriarchy Tales 5, the, the definition of marriage. Uh, the, the second argument and I'm just going to throw this out here real quick because I want to get on to like actually demonstrating and accomplishing the goal of at least helping to deconstruct the feminist argument. Or at least have fun while doing it. I guess it's a form of a political trolling. I don't know. But okay. So once you lead them up to defending Gold Digger, which, which they will do, and they will blame the victim. They will blame the victim like, like the rape victim. Right? Once you get them, feminists and women, to agree to the gold digging premise. And, and it's weird. I've seen even hot feminists, like like an eight or a nine, young, like 22, 24, and like, you know, like a job of the hut feminist, both make this argument as if they both have an equal chance of landing the gold digger role. <laughs> And uh, what it is, is uh, once you get them to agree to that premise, then you have them. Because I want to attack feminism. I, 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 I'm sort of, I, I, I'm feeling a little softer on Rebecca Watson. I'm feeling a little softer. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe going to do, I definitely want to do the video about her name. But uh, not only am I, you know, picking on her, but uh, I want to actually get to destroying the feminist beast. Anyway, so essentially, from feminist mouths, it's essentially an exchange of property. It's a weird form of prostitution. They will oddly defend the prostitution thing, called gold digger, and say the guy should have made better choices. It's like a weird form, yeah, like a weird form of hooker, only smarter. And then if you can jigger them into uh, the parasite uh, trap, uh, they're going to say that it's okay, this is their argument, that it's okay that um, they get some of your alimony money, they get some of your money, because they spent time with you and they had sex with you, they supported you, the emotional support, whatever, equated to some sort of compensation, monetary compensation. I see this a lot too, just in general. Women think either their vagina is so valuable that just having time with it, the, you know, the occasionally you know insane time you have with it, is worth some of your money for at least five, ten, fifteen years, if not your whole life. And they they always think of uh, it's not really leeching off you. It's like we get to share an experience or whatever. Okay. But essentially all you have to do is get them to uh, commit to the gold digger. And then you get them to say uh, either something like a parasite or you know, it's okay for one person to live off another person even if they're not uh, connected anymore in a physical sense. Something along those lines. Bam. You got them on abortion. Uh, that took about four minutes to get to. It was quicker in my head. But yeah, I could go on, but I think you pretty much get the premise. If it's okay for a woman to spend some time with a dude, like sex, and then she's like allowed to live off of him, even as a wife, you, you could take it as far as a housewife premise. Then it's okay for a baby to do the same. And uh, just like with the rape, well, she made a lot of bad choices that led up to the unwanted pregnancy. It's like, yeah, but were they all willful choices? You know, was she raped? Huh. It, 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 it goes into a whole... Oddly, you, you, you get them on almost every issue. It hits all the, 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 the poignant ones. Yes, uh, once you've gotten them to say he should have made better decisions when it comes to divorce... She should have made better decisions when it came to the pregnancy. Did she engage in certain risky activities that involved risk assessment, choice, 
Uh, it, it, probabilities. Was it a willful choice? Yeah, or was she raped? Were, sure, there was going to be a lot of dumb choices in there. Uh, hey, you, you, you th thought the condom was on the dude or not? You no. Know. Hey, you were drinking too much. But, yeah, but that's the nature of, of the same nature of existence that the women say rationalizes and justifies alimony. In the worst case scenario, is they agree with you. And, and, and that starts a, a movement on the feminist side, on the female side, to, to want to get rid of alimony and child support. You, you can move the argument over to child support. Was she raped? No, it, 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 then she chose to have that baby. Yeah, it's like the court tacitly admits and implements a, a, a world in which men are should be blessed, should feel indebted to knocking some girl up when the girl just spent the last 50 some odd years arguing for the right to choose her own kid. It's like, hey, I want to I wanna abandon this burden that through a series of choices I, I willfully chose. I, I want to abandon it, pull it out now. Maybe hopefully pretend like this never happened. Okay, we'll give that to you. All right, but when it does happen, when I, when I do have birth to a kid, I, I'm going to want you to give me some money. He should be lucky that uh, I let him breed, that I chose, deemed him worthy. Pay up. When yeah. She doesn't have to pay him. If, if she, you know, kills the kid and has an abortion, she doesn't have to pay him. Yeah. Choice. It, it's ironic. It's simple. It goes all the way through it. And you want to go from gold digger to parasite. From parasite to fetus. Alright, hey, uh... I'm going to get to more artsy-fartsy stuff. I wanted to throw this one out there. Uh, happy Labor Day, y'all. Yours truly. M. Yeah.